Hi, I'm Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today we are going to discuss about azospermia. What is azospermia and how um, common is it and how do we treat it? Uh, azospermia is a condition where uh, there are no sperms produced and when we do a semen analysis, the uh, count is absolutely zero of the sperms. Where azospermia is a common condition, about 1% of all men could be having azospermia and about 10 to 15% of infertile men that come to us for treatment or to a fertility center have been diagnosed with azospermia. So it's a pretty uh, common feature that we see in uh, patients who are suffering from male infertility. Now, what are the types? Even before we get on to discuss how can we treat it, we need to understand the types. There are two important types of azospermia. One is obstructive and the other is non-obstructive azospermia. As the name suggests, obstructive is where there is an obstruction in the uh, reproductive system, anywhere in the reproductive system. Now the sperms are produced in the testis and they travel from the epididymis, the vas difference into the seminal vesicles, the prostate and then finally out into the ejaculate. So if there is an obstruction in any of the, uh, you know, the, the areas that the sperm is traveling through, there could be an obstructive azospermia. Non-obstructive azospermia is that their causes uh, are other than obstruction, that is uh, sperms are not produced not because of obstruction but because of probably the generation of sperms itself due to many causes. Now let's look at the causes uh, in each of the categories. In uh, obstructive azospermia, the cause could be a trauma or injury in childhood or recent past, could be an infection, could be a high grade uh, temperature, could be uh, cystic fibrosis uh, gene presence. Now this cystic fibrosis, the problem is that there is an absence of vas difference due to which sperms are produced but they are accumulated in, in the vas and because there is no vas, the sperms are not uh, able to be ejaculated or there could be uh, inflammation in the area due to previous infection. So many causes are there due to which obstruction is what is causing the sperms to not come out and the semen having no sperms at all. Now in non-obstructive uh, azospermia, the reasons could be genetic. Inside genetic, we have Kalman syndrome, which are due to a defect on the X chromosome. We have Klein filters when there is there is an extra X chromosome. As we are aware, X chromosome is the female chromosome. XY is male, but uh, if XY is not there and there is an extra X chromosome, it's called Klein filters where the, uh, the sperms are not produced. There is another cause which is uh, Y chromosome micro deletion. On the Y chromosome, there are small deletions, micro deletions due to which sperms are not produced. Now, in, in addition to all this, there could be hormonal imbalance. Maybe the sperms are not produced because not enough uh, follicle stimulating hormone or testosterone or uh, luteinizing hormone is produced. Therefore, uh, spermatogenesis is not taking place properly. So these are some of the causes. In addition to this, there is another cause um, called uh, retrograde ejaculation as in the sperms are not able to come out there uh, during ejaculation they go reverse they go into the bladder and uh, the sperms are then seen in urinary samples so there are many causes of non-obstructive azospermia also now how can we treat them obstructive is a very uh, you know simple uh, as in treatable issue because sperms are produced in the uh, testis. So many a times we do um, uh, uh, testicular extraction of sperms or just uh, aspiration of sperms and we are able to get good number of uh, sperms from the testis area and we use them for assisted reproductive treatment procedures. So this is a very easy procedure to do and uh, it can be uh, performed under anesthesia. It's a very simple procedure to perform. In non-obstructive, many a times hormonal therapy is given to the patient, maybe FSH or testosterone, other things that are required after proper hormonal evaluation. Uh, these things are added to their uh, to their regime and uh, then sperms are improved. So uh, these are a few of the causes. In retrograde ejaculation, the uh, urine sample is taken, it is processed and sperms from there are used for assisted reproductive technology procedures. So there are options, many a times azospermia can be treated, so don't be disheartened. Obstructive or non-obstructive, both are treatable causes. Many times we can treat them with a lot of procedural options that we have currently. If you have been diagnosed with azospermia and you're not having a clue which way to go for treatment, which treatment options work best for you, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.